Hello and welcome to another episode in the EPISD at Home MacBook Tips. Today we're going to talk about MacBook accessibility features. We're going to go ahead and dive in by clicking on System Preferences. In System Preferences, and I'm on Catalina, you will find the accessibility icon. If you're still on Mojave, it, the icon still looks the same, but it's probably going to be down in the third or fourth row. So I'm going to go ahead and open accessibility and we're going to look at some of the features. First, for your visually impaired, you have voiceover. When you enable voiceover, you'll be able to speak to the computer and tell it uh, to do things, commands. So when I enable it, it tells me welcome to voiceover. So you can click on learn more, you can click on use voiceover, or you can turn off, and I'm going to turn off voiceover. Pretty much you enable voiceover and you can use the computer keys to go ahead and control uh, the computer. With Zoom, I like the Zoom feature where I can use the control gestures, command, I mean control, and two fingers on the trackpad to zoom in, zoom out. So if, if you have a visual impairment but you're not blind, and you need something to be closer, uh, zoomed in, then you can do a full zoom in on anywhere that your mouse points by clicking control, by clicking and holding control and then two finger up and down. Two finger up and down on the tripod will have you zoom in. For display, uh, you can invert colors. You can change the size of your cursor. So there's large, there's normal, and I like to write somewhere there in the middle. If you need a larger, you can definitely do that as well. For speech, uh, if you're listening to something being played back to you and you want to check the voice, then you can click play. Alex is the preset. Voice. Most people recognize me you by my voice. You can change the voice if you wish to. If you want to, there's uh, different voices that I've selected. If you want more, you click customize and you can select other voices. Don't go crazy on selecting voices because these take space in, on your computer. If you want to s see what it sounds like, you can go ahead and click on the name and then click play. And that's uh, that will preview the voice for you. The moment you click the, the checkbox or the box and check it off, it will begin downloading the voice. So don't get too crazy on voices. Uh, you can have the computer read the uh, or pronounce or say the announcements that come in. So if uh, if there's a message from the computer, an error, or a message from your mail or something like that, it will actually read the announcements for you. If you select speak everything that's under the pointer, uh, and then you select always. The delay text. Okay, so it'll read whatever wherever your pointer's at. There's a little delay. And right now it's reading everything that I'm pointing to. Business application doc item. So you can definitely do that. Under descriptions, you can have the computer play the audio descriptions when they are available if you have a visual impairment. For hearing impairments, you can have the computer flash when an alert comes through and you won't see it on mine, but if you check it off, you can test it and you will see the flash. Also, the audio. Uh, normally, uh, systems are set up with stereo audio, but uh, if you're hard of hearing on one side, you know, uh, than the other, then you can have it play in mono, and both sides will play the same sounds. I think that's a really good feature. Captioning is obviously is available as well, uh, and you can select the type of uh, different captions that uh, text fonts. And you can also prefer closed captions in STH, which is something that is um, subtitles for the deaf of hearing, deaf and hard of hearing, uh, that can be used in uh, videos and you know uh, things like from the government or from the states. For motor uh, uh, disabilities, you have voice control. Voice control is also available on the iPad and on the iPhone. And so when you enable voice control you will have a, uh, a little command. It'll look like dictation. 
Okay, so you'll have the command that'll look like dictation. And uh, you'll be able to talk to the different, uh, you'll be able to say different things like open Microsoft Word or close Microsoft Word. Or once you have a program that's open, you can say numbers and it'll show numbers so that you can select different options, especially if you have a, a motor uh, a disability where you can't type or you can't hold a mouse, you can definitely enable those features right there. With keyboard, uh, you can enable sticky keys uh, and you can enable slow keys as well. So you have some, uh, if you have some functionality in your hands then you can enable sticky keys and it will uh, work that for you as well. The pointer controls, you can select the speed, the double click speed and the spring load delay as well. If you do have a built-in uh, uh, wireless mouse or wired mouse, you can disable the trackpad so that nothing works. Right now, I'm touching my trackpad, and it uh, and it and, I, and it it wouldn't work unless uh, it won't work until you uh, when you plug in your mouse. So if you have a wireless mouse that you're using, something that's closer to you, uh, that's easier for access, then you can disable the trackpad when you plug those in. All right, under Siri, Siri, we all know what Siri is, but if I can't speak to Siri, how am I going to get answers from Siri? Well, there's a fix. You can enable type to Siri. So when I click on Siri, I am able to type so I can say define open. Message or a view through an empty space. So Not there it gives me the definition of the word open. So if I can't talk to Siri, then I can definitely enable type to Siri and I will be able to still use Siri from the keyboard. One thing that I like to have, if I'm going to use this toolbar or this uh, accessibility features, I want to make sure that I uh, enable the status icon up here. So once I did that, you saw that the accessibility icons came up. Another thing is the shortcuts. Uh, if I wanted to set one of these from the shortcuts, I can do a option command F5. So option command F5 will allow me to accessibility options. enable or disable any of the features here mm -hmm. from the accessibility options. And okay. Apple does have a website out there that will uh, help you with uh, knowing, learning about ac more accessibility features. On the Mac, uh, it's apple.com slash accessibility accessibility slash mac and you can learn all about the different accessibility features that the macbook has make sure you subscribe to our playlist so that you can uh, stay up to date with all of our different uh, videos and features